Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis. Above Miss Jordan, we've got another video coming for you today about the forgotten man, Jaden Braff. Some of you might not even know who he is. Um, he's in the academy. Uh, yeah. uh, before we get into it, guys, we're going to set a like target. Let's go for 800 likes, so smash that thumbs up button for us. Helps other City fans find the channel and lets us know that you're enjoying the content that we're giving you guys. Also, subscribe, hit that notification bell for daily Manchester City videos. The, the button is in the bottom right. Uh, hand side, the bottom right side of the corner, innit? All the way down there, innit? Yeah, I think yeah. so, innit? Like, we might have butchered that, innit? But basically, Smash it's a that. big red button that says subscribe. <laughs> you know what I mean, you can't miss it. <laughs> and next to that is the join button. When I come to remember, click that and you can join. Oh, go join on, bro. <laughs> Go on, that look transition. at this, transitioning. And you know yeah. what we're going to do now? We're going to transition into the actual video, right? <laughs> um, so basically, Jaden Braff, we, you do, to be fair, we've never actually done a proper video on him before. However, we have spoken about him a lot, just because, you know, he's, 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 he's a prospect in the academy and there's a lot to talk about. Now, um, just get the quick stuff out of the way for people who have no idea who this guy is. Um, he's in the academy, he's an attacking player. Pretty highly rated. I personally don't think he's quite good as uh, like Sancho, uh, myself, just my own opinion. Um, but he's, I always say he's, he's better than, in my opinion, than someone like Matondo. So he's in, he's sort of like in the middle of them too. That's how I try and describe it, just just for ease, ease of like description in it. Um, however, there has been a lot of rumours about this guy having a bad attitude, man, yeah. which you don't want to hear, in it. You don't want to hear that. Not not from a youngster, not from someone in the academy and stuff who's going to break through. There's been loads of rumours, obviously nothing confirmed. All rumours. We, by the way, this isn't me saying he has a bad... I literally yeah. have no idea. I don't have this guy on any social media, so I don't know if he's got a bad... I don't see him in the training ground, obviously. So this is just what we're hearing. But obviously, if a lot of people start saying it, then you've got to think, is it actually true or is it literally just hearsay, isn't it? Yeah, it becomes like substance, doesn't it? It becomes like some form of... I mean, truth behind it. That, that even though we don't actually know, there is truth behind it. But yeah, like I say, there are rumours in that. Whether he has a bad, a bad, a bad attitude or not. Um, towards the end of last season, after Project Restart, we were saying that we'd love to see Jaden Braff. Um, it was like it, it seemed like the perfect time to put him in with the Premier League being dead. Liverpool pretty much already won it at that point. We were never going to catch up, so mm. it was all focused on the Champions League. Let's just let's just play some of our youngsters in that. We thought we'd get forward in loads of game time. And I, I genuinely thought we would see Braff, and then I yeah. remember I remember seeing the the news that Braff is training with the first team, and I remember we was kind of hype about it. it was yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah. buzzing, buzzing. We actually get to see this guy was, play yeah. because one thing that we can't say is, we've, like, we we can't say we've seen this guy actually play pre like Premier League football. We've never seen mm. him in the, in the first team, so first he's team. never had his chance, and mm. that's what gets me a bit. You know what I mean? I, I would have loved to see him at least have a chance mm. uh, to prove that he could be someone like. Um, like a Sancho and that, but yeah, no, you absolutely. And I remember, you know, at the end of at the end of last season, like you just said, bro, I remember saying like, why, why is he not get be given a go? Because something that frustrates me a little bit. I'd have said this in a couple of videos recently, but it's um, it's the only thing really that that is sort of a little bit frustrating about our football club right now. Because everything at our football club right now for me is, is great. You know what I mean? The board are in, the managers are in, the players are in, the results yeah. are starting to come in. We're on an unbeaten run. Everything's great. You know what I mean? But the only thing that's slightly a little bit more frustrating, which I can sort of accept, I'm just having a little bit of a nitpick. You know what I mean? But it's that there are players in the academy that I think we, sh we we should be able to find some minutes for. And and Braff is one of them. Now, funny enough, I actually said in the summer that we should have sold Braff, uh, personally. The reason I said we should have sold him is because I knew we wasn't going to play him. You know what I mean? I knew yeah. we wasn't going to play him. You knew he was Everyone knows that he wasn't going to get game time. Why? Because he didn't get game time at the end of the last season when apparently he was fit. So, you know, and last season, the end of last season was dead. You know, once we qualify for the Champions League... Why, why didn't he get any... So he certainly wasn't going to get any game time really this year. And that's why I thought we should have offloaded him. I thought we could have got a decent price, get a sell-on, get a buyback or whatever, uh, and let him go, let him con continue his career um, and, and obviously try and you know hope, hope for him that he can he can develop into a world-class ta talent. And that for us is good because obviously if we get a sell-on, that's, that's good for us. And it's also just nice, you know what I mean? You don't want to just keep a player at your football club unless it's Eric Garcia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, but that's what I'm saying. I said we should have sold him. Now, we didn't sell him. Now that that for me was I I think a mistake. He was linked with a few teams. I think a few teams in Germany, like the standard clubs, who just poach all the players from from England these days. Uh, we didn't do that. We kept him. He's not got any game time again. I was fully expecting something to go proper tits up. Um, and and to be fair, we we he's been linked again with I think Leverkusen, maybe Dortmund earlier in the month. And I was expecting this year to go a little bit tits up, maybe. 
for him to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a paddy. You know what I mean? We've seen San, what happened with Sancho. Sancho apparently went off a wall. I thought, oh, maybe we'll get this from from Braff only because of the rumours that you hear about him having a bad attitude. Which I don't know if that's true because you know I say I don't know him. Um, but I was fully expecting something to to drop, and then all of a sudden last night, ping, ping, ping. Is it John Stones again? No, it wasn't John Stones, <laughs> Bray. Speaking of John Stones. In the back there, guys. John oh, yeah, Stones signed boot on the wall. Signed boot on the wall. Nice. Uh, yeah, um, not John Stones. Yeah, Who not John it, Stones. Um, I don't know. Just one of one of my mates. Could have been you, bro. So someone, uh, someone yeah. messaged us and was like, "Have you seen what Jaden Braff is put? What what, what Jaden Braff is doing? He's doing a live Q and A." I was like, "Ah, so what's going on?" So these are the questions that apparently um, he was he was answering. Now I don't know if this is like a confirmed account, by the way, either. No, no, it's, uh, is it a confirmed yeah, account? Ah, oh, buzzing. So someone said to him, "Jaden, is your future at City?" He put, "I hope so." With the prime. Mm. So uh, that, 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 that's a, that is, is, that's a weird sign. In that's the a sense weird that sign. Yeah, he seemed to be dead set in my eyes to be going to Leverkusen. I thought it might even happen in January. And oh, I leave thinking, at least. You know what I mean? Yeah, leave. I thought this would be the thing. And I, I Leverkusen. Think, we're leaving. <laughs> I think we said it recently as well that he'd. Germany seems to be a good. If I was a youngster and I wasn't getting into a team, I'd, I'd definitely go Germany. Yeah, I'd get off it just seems it seems to be the place to be to to grow your potential. Look at Sancho, man. Look at Erling Haaland, they're smashing it. Mm. Um, and even that uh, Jude Bellingham's gone there as well, hasn't he? So. Oh yeah, they've. Re- they reti- can't talk about. That. <laughs> the can't the talk retired about that. number it himself. Cracks me up. It cracks me up. Um, <laughs> yeah, moving on then from. So yeah, he's he got asked about that, innit? and then someone else asked him, "Are you leaving City?" And he said no. Mm. Bear zero. Oh, not zero. Oh, so, so it's, it's a very solid answer, isn't it? It's not it's, like a oh no. It's not like a I love city. I really like it here. It's not like a swerve. He yeah, says there's no. no parry in it. It's he answers just, it oh, saying no. It's it's a flat out answer. Whether or not that is just he's deflecting and just like just squashing it like just straight away. Yeah, and a big one know. as well. Another question that was asked. A few rumors were going around. And I think we might have spoke about this on maybe a live stream. Someone, one of our viewers, uh, told us this was a rumor. There was a rumor going round, and if this was true then, you know, this, this is bad. But there was a rumour going round that basically, Braff, obviously, as Jordan said, was training with the first team. Fernandinho, at the end of the, the end of the session, said, oh, Braff, will you go and collect the balls or whatever, you know, put the balls in the bag or whatever, you know what I mean? No, no biggie. And apparently, Braff told Fernandinho to F off or something like that. Basically, he swore at Fernandinho Along said, those lines. I ain't doing it. Um, that, was, that was a rumour that was coming out, you know what I mean? Never confirmed. Someone asked him that. On, on Snapchat, he said, no, he's the captain. I would never do that in my life, which I hope that's true because, one, if it's not true, that's a bad move doing that to Fernandinho. That's totally disrespectful. And two, if you've then done that and then lied about it, that's that's even worse. So I hope it's not true. Uh, but he says it's not, so I can only take that on face value because, you know, there was no confirmed reports. It was, it was just rumours at the time, anyway. And it, it, I, I kind of like the fact that mm. his commander said, no, his captain, I'd never do that in my life. It's how, it sounds like... He, he was a bit taken aback by someone asking him that. I've been like, a bit like, what? What are you on yeah, about? Yeah, nah, yeah. I'd never do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the last uh, question he got asked, um, or one of the last ones, was, uh, are you happy at Man City? What are your thoughts about the Leverkusen Dortmund rumours? And he said, I'm very happy at City and a blue love art. So all this just points towards him staying at City. Like, mm. it, it, this guy has been honest before as well. He has been honest on Snapchat, which I think was the rumours of him, his attitude starting and about him he kind of like I think a while ago on Snapchat he was saying like oh he's never going to break into the first team and he, he, he seems to have this like very open book approach to his yeah. to the way that maybe he is that's what it is and I think that's what it is about his personality that people didn't like and everyone yeah. was like oh that's bad attitude why are you being like that but I think maybe he was just being real with himself maybe maybe that's the case because you got to remember guys most footballers these days right are shells you know what I mean they don't say anything they don't speak because they're probably scared in all honesty, they're probably scared of saying something incorrect and then getting absolutely hounded by the fans. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It, it's very, very... It, I know everyone's got social media and stuff, but most of the stuff that they, they put on social media, most of it's a lot of rubbish, you know what I mean? A great day in training, you know what I mean? They never most like... Of, most, of, most of it is run by someone else or an agent. Yeah, exactly. Or Half of the accounts on Twitter and Instagram aren't even the players, you know what I mean? So, you know, what I'm saying is they're not... They, them accounts that what you're seeing it's not real you know what I mean it's, it's, it's fake shit so maybe when you get someone like that who's like nah I'm just going to tweet whatever I want I'm going to do a snapchat I'm going to say whatever I want people are like whoa you know what I mean what are you doing yeah, they're not used to that disrespectful yeah. bad attitude and all that maybe it's just coming across wrong um, but I, I'm very much of the case that whether whether I think any player in the academy is good enough or not, if they apply themselves in the right ways, what does that mean? It means work hard in training, respect the coaches, respect your elder players, you know, your more senior players. Then 
unless you're absolutely garbage. I think you should, you should, we should try and give as many players minutes as possible. Um, because you never know what could happen. You know I mean, there's so many players down the years where academy players, not just for our club, for other clubs as well, that come on and then just do a madness and then they just blow up. You know what I mean? So, I, I want him to get given game time. I really, really do. I think he deserves it. I think I've said it last season, and I, you know, what? I'm not even his biggest fan. I don't even think he's. I don't you think he's like a world. Start, yeah. I don't even think he's a world class player, I, and I don't know where his ceiling is. I think he's a good player. Whether he can make it at top top level, I don't know. I don't. I don't think he can like top top level, but I th- I still believe that he should be given the chance to he, prove me yeah. wrong. He should be. He should be given a chance to show everyone what he can do. Exactly. He needs to be given that yeah. platform, and that's what the academy is all about. Raising it to the Premier League, they can give, mm. given that platform. Look at players like Rashford and that when they just they burst out of nowhere, like you said, brother. Then you're like, oh my god, this guy looks sick. And Greenwood and that, and you're like, oh what? And then mm. I feel like players like that, and then uh, Braff saying all this. Has kind of give me the confidence that if he's willing to stay and fight, then buzzing. Because mm. at the end of the day, I would say in the academy, it's fight or flight. You've got to fight for your place and then stay and kind of grind out the, t- the chance to be in the first team. Mm. Or you've got to get off and get then off let, let yourself develop. Yeah, no, absolutely. Guys, let us know your thoughts on this whole situation. If, you, if you're if you a what would you do? Would you stay? Would you fight for your position? Would you try and get some minutes? Or would you take the easy option? And But some could say the easy option is also the better option. Smart Just option. get off. Go, go Germany and, and smash it tear it up in Germany just like Sancho's done and if on the City side what should City do here in January should we sell him should we get a little bit of cash for him you know, I'm, I'm sure we could get over 7 7 to 13 million for this guy easy you know with a sell on a buyback should we sell him or should we be trying to put some of these young players into the first team not saying start them but I'm saying Carabao Cup games FA Cup crappy games give him start them or bring them on as a, as a substitute let us know what you think in the comment section below guys um, smash the like on the video if you did enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you're new become an extra club member get your name on the bottom of the screen and uh, we'll catch you in the next one <laughs>